We're going to get straight into this video since we have some important weather information to discuss regarding some upcoming episodes of dangerous severe storms. Just for some context, the primary focal point for severe weather this month has been southern Europe, specifically the Balkans, where numerous back-to-back -back episodes of significant severe weather has occurred. A persistent mass of low pressure over the Norwegian Sea has provided unseasonably cool conditions for a big part of the month, so this of course has mitigated the risk of severe weather for most of Europe for a time, except for the Balkans. We are past the middle of the month now, and with the intrusion of some Atlantic low pressure systems, we are seeing a shift in the main severe weather threat zone. This brings me to an overview of the current pattern. We have a low pressure area visible over northwest Russia, that's going to move away rapidly, setting the stage for a real area of concern located over southwest Europe. As the low pressure area moved in from the west, we've seen Saharan dust and a very warm air mass get pulled northward, and we're seeing that all across central Europe for today, Thursday, June 20th. Additionally, it's going to be this system which will cause severe storms across Europe over the next few days, so we're going to focus on that for the remainder of this video. For today, Thursday, June 20th, the risk of severe weather is already kicking off. Robust convection is noted across Georgia and far southern Russia, with a very intense cell exploding over southern Germany. Another storm system over Russia has a strong cold front attached, and the sharp difference in temperature has allowed for a line of storms to form from Ukraine into the Moscow area. Damaging wind gusts and locally heavy rainfall will be the main hazard with those storms. Now for tomorrow, I'm going to spend a little bit more time on this graphic, and I'm sure you can tell why. I have placed my first ever level 4 risk over Czechia, northern Austria, and small portions of Germany and Poland, surrounded by a large level 3 risk. The reason for this very aggressive outlook is because of a somewhat rare environment shaping up, featuring extreme instability across that portion of Europe. I'd also like to point out that a level 4 risk means that widespread significant severe weather is likely, so we're not talking about garden variety storms. This is referring to the possibility of high-end thunderstorms capable of all hazards, including tornadoes, large hail, and damaging wind. I personally think that the greatest risk will be very large to potentially giant hailstones exceeding 5 centimeters in diameter, with a risk of tornadoes and severe wind gusts also present. Moving into Saturday, I think we're going to see another round of intense severe weather, this time involving the Balkans a bit more as the system heads east. Some details are a bit nebulous at this time, so I'm going to hold off on a severe weather outlook, but I have outlined the area which I think needs to be most aware. Then as we start the new week, which would be June 23rd and beyond, I think we're going to see additional rounds of severe weather centered over Southeast Europe, while areas to the north and west get another break in the activity. Thank you all for watching this brief forecast, and consider subscribing so you never miss a video. With all this in mind, I'll see you on the next forecast.